When using NGRX, it's important to take a moment to think about the state we need to track and the set of actions that change that state. The state is the set of data elements that our application works with, defined as nouns, such as products, or with a flag name. For our first scenario, our state is simple. We track the value of this checkbox, defining whether to include the product code in the display of our product list. Since it's a flag, we'll call that bit of state show product code. With our first bit of state defined, let's analyze the actions needed to modify that state. These actions are the events in the application, defined as verb and noun phrases. For our show product code state, we have two state changes. We set the value to true when the user checks the box and false when the user unchecks the box. We could define two actions, one to show the product code and one to hide the product code. Alternatively, we could define one action to toggle the product code, changing it from true to false or false to true. Whether you use one action or two in this scenario really doesn't matter. In either case, our next step is to build a reducer. Thanks, and please like and subscribe.